So Vlogmas day 10, day 10, uh, it's just after 8.30, I'm working right now, or trying to work, of course it's not really busy right now here on the far east side of El Paso, um, I know that it was kind of busy earlier, but I got busy earlier, I had had some errands to take care of and um, also had to go do some other stuff and it's, I mean you know how it is like sometimes when there's other things you have to do before you can you know do whatever it is you gotta do to make money or, <laughs> or, or no I mean you know cause like mostly just errands and like errands that I had been putting off for a while like I had to buy uh, you know just like personal hygiene stuff toothpaste shampoo and all that I had been putting it off for a while and I knew that if I didn't go today then probably wasn't going to go for at least another week and <laughs> uh, so yeah I did that and of course <clears throat> of course earlier there was a lot of traffic and on the far east side of El Paso, El Paso, there's, yeah, traffic's gotten pretty bad. There's, I mean, I guess uh, there's a lot more people moving out to the far east side, so I don't know. But anyways, I'm parked uh, I'm parked in front of this uh, grill, and, grill and bar place, bar and grill, well, Hot Chicks Wing House at uh, I've delivered a, a lot of their food uh, over this past year and what's great about them is they're one of those places that I had mentioned I forget in which vlog I mentioned but they're one of those places where you know I just have to go and just pick up the order for the customer and you know just deliver it I don't have to put in the order or you know I don't have to uh, really do anything else other than just go and tell them really I don't even have to I mean ever since I first started picking up orders here um, like most of the uh, wait staff that works there I guess in particular uh, two of the waitresses that work there they're already familiar with me they know who I am and so pretty much as soon as I walk through the door they know why I'm there because <laughs> honestly yeah I, I've there's only been one time when I, I came here as a customer uh, I remember uh, the food was actually pretty good I don't remember how good exactly but I remember it was alright it was decent uh, you know they got decent uh, hot wings and burgers and fries and they also have uh, seafood, which I've yet to try. Like, I know they have fried calamari. I've yet to try that. And, uh, and I guess uh, they have a decent selection of beer, too. Uh, so, yeah, I'm waiting here, waiting out front. Because, uh, like I said, uh, well, I mean, not only do I like picking up orders from here, I mean, it's one of the places where I like picking up orders because I don't, I just have to go in there. They already know who I am and really don't got to wait too long. But also because they're featured on the Postmates app, the Postmates food order, ordering app. And it's, there's this thing called Postmates Party where they feature like, I don't know, it's like five or six uh, local restaurants, I believe. Um, mostly local but I think also a couple of chain restaurants but they feature certain restaurants and if you spend $15 or more 
uh, just on one order, then you get free delivery. So, yeah, I mean, I think that's a pretty good deal. I don't know. Also, too, I've yet to order anything through Postmates. Or it's, <laughs> it's, I mean, I, I tend to save most of my money, or at least try to save most of it. I don't really spend a lot on ordering food. Uh, I mean, especially me being a delivery driver, like, I don't mind going to pick up something, so I, I'm, I already do that for a living anyway, so, yes. So yeah, sometimes, um, well, the Postmates party feature, uh, I'm able to see, like, if you go on there, it'll, it'll show you, like, there'll be this, like, little eye icon thing, like, eyeball icon thing. And it'll, right next to it will be a number, and that number represents how many people are considering ordering from that particular restaurant. So, uh, so as a driver, sometimes it helps to to keep an eye on that, to to keep an eye on which restaurants are, you know, the most people are looking at, are considering ordering from, and then after that, it's just a matter of. Uh, driving to that particular restaurant and parking right out front as close as you can get to it uh, so yeah I've only done this once before where I waited right outside this place Hot Chicks and within like I don't know 25 minutes uh, I actually got notified of an order uh, in order to pick up and so yeah I don't know if it's going to work tonight because <laughs> uh, this is like this will actually only be the second or third time that I've tried this and even if I don't then there's other restaurants that are really close by like uh, there's a subway over there actually like first time last week I think it was or a week and a half ago I went to that subway because a customer placed an order for uh, chopped salad and actually I had to go in there and I had to place the order for the customer and you know make sure to tell them you know everything that the customer wanted on the salad and but it wasn't too bad because you know it was just one salad and the guy that made it he he worked pretty fast so it only took like about three or four minutes and yeah and that was it and then plus there was a customer that was close by here that was like like pretty much literally no more than uh, a mile away not even that like half a mile away like barely half a mile away <laughs> and plus there's uh, some other restaurants too further down uh, further east of me and also others of course uh, a little more west and so I'm kind of like in the center of things right now not exact center but kind of in the center <laughs> I think uh, so yeah I'm just uh, waiting and um, like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna get anything. And um, oh yeah, one thing I wanted to mention: there's a Cricket store here, uh, Cricket Wireless. It's like an alternative version, like well, not alternative, but a cheap version. Like if you need, if you, you know, a cell phone, smartphone, of some kind, they offer like a cheap, cheaper plan or whatever. Uh. I mean, I guess they're okay, like, you know, if you're just looking for something to use to call people and text and and whatnot, and I don't know, I've heard a lot of bad stuff about, <clears throat> a lot of bad stuff about their service, and that's, but anyways, instead of having, like, an actual cricket for a mascot, they have, you can see right here, there's a cricket van, 
And I don't know if you can really make it out, but it's just like a green blob. A green blob of some kind that is their... Their mascot. I don't know. <laughs> yes. I don't know. So anyways, I'm just going to wait here about... Uh, like maybe 35 minutes at the most to see if I get anything, so... Yeah, and of course, I'll let you know what happens. Or... Uh, it's nine o'clock right now. Stone Temple Pilots are on the radio. Uh, definitely one of my favorite 90s bands, and Definitely sucks that the singer Scott Wyland or Wayland or Wheeland or But yeah the singer passed away a while ago, I wanna say three or four years ago. Some kind of overdose or something and it definitely sucks. Well I mean because he was one of my favorite singers too. Of course him and uh Chris Cornell um, they're definitely two of my favorite 90s grunge era singers and even though I mean they I mean they, their vocal ranges were uh, pretty uh, uh, there's some some car behind me revving the engine for some reason Sometimes uh, late at night, there's there's people that drag race up and down this main street behind me. And <laughs> what was I saying about? Oh yeah, the Chris Cornell, uh, Scott Wyland, Wheeland. Or, uh, they both had pretty unique vocal ranges, and so yeah. I I don't know. If I'm gonna get an order from Hot Chicks, it's just the saying, especially because it's Tuesday night. It's nine o'clock, which nine o'clock on the far east side of El Paso. It might as well be midnight. It's Tuesday, and you know that's the hell. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that, but yeah. There's there's some people already drag racing of course there's no cops nearby that's <laughs> uh, I mean yeah I don't mind if people are drag race but I mean I do mind that you know they do it on a main road heavily trafficked a main road and They're still. I don't know how many people are drag racing right now. <laughs> Adrenaline junkies and. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm back at my usual spot. Parking lot of Jack in the Box. Uh, decided to leave Hot Chicks. I mean the parking lot. Because I figured I wasn't going to get anything. And... So, yeah. Also, too, usually, sometimes, I mean, most of the hot chicks orders I've delivered in the past, um, I get notified of them uh, even when I'm parked over here in front of Jack in the Box. So, yeah, it's just... This is my usual spot, my sweet spot, so to speak. <laughs> And plus, there's a plethora of other restaurants, like, in either direction. Uh, pretty much in any direction you drive from here, there's a crap ton of restaurants. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, I think I'm going to wait till 9.30, maybe 9.35 if I don't get anything. 
then I'll just call it quits. Alright. Okay, so lo and behold, I was ready to call it quits, and I got notified of a Waterbird order. Uh, normally, I stay away from these because I've got to order and pay for the customer. But I decided to take it also because the uh, drop-off location, it's a neighborhood that's uh, kind of close to uh, the school that uh, one of my nephews goes to. So I'm kind of familiar with the area. So, yeah, I had to wait a while to pick it for them to make the food. But, hey, at least it's something some kind of money so going to go drop it off right now ok so I dropped off that order uh, and then I stopped at a convenience store to use the bathroom but of course my luck the bathroom was out of order at the convenience store <laughs> uh, so I'm back at home in front of home and that does it for vlogmas day 10 so oh and by the way I got five something for delivering that order uh i hope she tips i mean the woman i delivered to she seemed pretty nice pretty polite so and it looked like they were in a pretty nice neighborhood so i don't know i hope she tips but we'll see it's it's, it's hard to hard to say for sure who's gonna tip but who's not sometimes i can call it but not always but yeah, so that's it. I gotta go use the bathroom now. <laughs> uh, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for listening. Till next time, if we gotta keep it real, keep on rocking. And peace.